Then the process of creation resumed. The great mother bore down on the effort of divine birth, and from her womb emerged four sacred stones. The four stones were cast up into the sky by Yokahu, and each one took its place and became a star in each of the four cardinal positions, south, west, north, and east. The star of the south reflects the human quality of open-minded innocence. The star of the west reflects the human quality of introspection, the ability to look within one's own soul. The star of the north reflects the human quality of wisdom and experience. And the star of the east reflects the human quality of illumination, clear vision. The cosmic matriarch Katabe asked her son, the spirit of energy, Yokahu, to position, shape, and form the lights of the sky. Yokahu stirred the fermenting celestial mists and formed the magical cosmic tree of the sky, which is manifested in the Milky Way galaxy. The Milky Way galaxy is another manifestation of the Cosmic Mother. Round about the sacred central cosmic Seba tree of the sky, the stars and galaxies were birthed with explosive vigor. The great sacred celestial Seba tree, the cosmic tree, the great universal axis around which all reality rotates, became manifest at the very heart of creation and established the divine connection between the three mystic realms. Above, the upper sky realm called today. In the middle, the earth plane called Ku. And the lower watery underworld, accessed only through caves and dominated by the primordial ocean a world that exists in a zone called Koabai. And above the sun, Boinael, the sacred manifestation of all energy, arches across the sky marking the cycles of the days, his blessed light bringing the power of solar life down to earth. On the surface of the earth, the green plants like yucca Use that radiant energy to synthesize carbohydrates, storing the sacred solar light in the form of caloric energy in their tissues. Blessed is the energy-laden light from above, which conveys divine life magic from Yokahu's heavenly realm down to the plant beings. And the act of integrating that radiant magic into their leaves and stems through the process of photosynthesis, the plants such as yucca literally encapsulate the solar power within their tissues. And when these plants are eaten by humans, the solar power becomes integrated in the human body, making of people little particles of the sun, earthbound manifestations of yokahu. Arrayed around the central seba tree, the four stones of the four directions lie upon the surface of the earth, reflecting the four sacred stars above and linked by 24 other stones, which together with them demarcate the 28-day cycle of the moon. The Siva, or Stone of the South, is called Achiano, and it is watched over by the sacred totem bird, Guanajo, the turkey. Achiano is the direction of the South, the home of the spirit of open mind, the quality that allows humans to experience reality free from the hindrance of prejudice and preconception. Overseeing the Siva or Stone of the West is Bukaro, the Owl. The West is called Koromo. It is the home of the spirit of introspection, the look within quality that allows a human to peer into his or her own soul and understand what is found there. The direction of the North is called Rakuno and is overseen by the elusive hummingbird, Colibri. In the North dwells the spirit of wisdom and hard-earned experience, the school of hard knocks. The Siva or Stone of the East is overseen by Guaraguao, the red-tailed hawk. It is the dwelling place of the spirit of illumination and clear vision, the qualities that allow human beings to see clearly and assess the whole situation. The 
Taino ancestors in their wisdom created sacred sculptural images to represent each one of these four qualities, their assigned directions and the sacred birds that oversee them. They also assigned a color to each one, green in the south, black in the west, white in the north, and yellow in the east. The process of creation continued, and with the assistance of Yokahu from another cave mouth manifestation of the opening into Atabe's holy womb began to emerge the primordial prototypes of the living things of the earth, the plants and the animals. The members of the animal kingdom included the four-legged, such as Kaiman, the crocodile, Karaya and Hikotea of the turtle and tortoise clans, Hutia, the groundhog-like rodent of the fur-bearing clan and those who live under the ground, the long-legged water birds as well as the other winged ones who fill the skies with light, and even the serpent people who remind us of Atabe's holy energy.